an event. Thank you for hosting. Oh, and, and we do enjoy hosting parties like this. <laughs> what do you do these days? <laughs> so go on with the pin and ink. Oh, yeah, you know, I doubt. I doubt. Actually, you want to bring more of your successes in the playwright uh, department. Okay. Um, I understand that you have several shipping vessels. I do, and I am definitely looking for cargo. I know he lays Oh, of course. course. Really? You must be careful with this. I should know that you because know, I'm sure you've been on my shows. <laughs> you should know better. Actors uh, can take on. You know, I was just kidding. I'd love you to come to my home yes. when William Shakespeare comes. And you can come too, I guess. Um, <laughs> Well, you have a and the company will be performing. Oh, Do you have a benefit for the building of the globe? Oh, excellent. That is quite wonderful. So, Mr. Doug, where do you draw your inspiration for poetry? The heavens? Virtue, alas, now let me take some rest. Thou sets a bait between my will and wit. A chair upon which I sit, a bite upon which I bit. Oh, no. It is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. A toad that power lower caught, chewed and clipped of a leg with a hobbling hop has got. <laughs> I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. <laughs> Better my heart three person to God, for you as yet but knock breathes shine and seek to mend. That I may rise and stand or throw me. <laughs> And then you're forced to break, blow, burn, and make me new. We wish that we should love. But <laughs> shall the other win? <laughs> and one especially do we affect. <laughs> of two gold ingots in each respect. <laughs> Where both doth <laughs> deliberate the love is slight. <laughs> Whoever loved that loved at first sight. <laughs> you ever feel like somebody's watching you? Hey, I think some animosity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I bet you would never get like stabbed to death in like a shower or something. Like that. Just, I didn't pull out. Just that he was not to be trusted. Uh, sorry, sir. I can't speak with you. Can't work, man. Sorry, I can't speak with you. Can't work, man. I need to go to the room. <laughs> Where did they bring him? <laughs> what is that in your ear? It's an ear. You can afford the jewelry, but you can't afford to pay me my money. I can't. I can afford it. I'm not going to away. Not be very well taken by a more devout society. But Spanish. Well, on the stage, it's not making a profit on the playing people's emotions. That's right. That be sin which doth the menace frame well stayed with truth in words and faith of deep, ready of wit and fearing naught but shame. If that be sin which is fixed hearts doth breed, a loathing of all loose unchastity, then love is sin and let me sinful be. I'm married. <laughs> Fighting, go go upstairs. What the? What, what happened? Happened? Oh my goodness. I don't know if you open that or not. He's dead. <laughs> First time. He's dead. I Hold on, make way, make way. Guys, make way. Uh, oh. yeah, no. no. I, I do see a blood covered dagger, however. I, I see that. <laughs> I, I saw oh no. That is my family and <laughs> oh, this is quite distressing. So, uh, I mean, your family. Snurfs. Your knife I, I killed the man. Oh uh, yes, you had the dagger. It wasn't I who bore the knife. He was here when he was. Dead. I don't know! Somebody check to see if he was dead. Hold on, hold on. You mean with 
Yeah, yeah he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who is here? I saw you fighting, and I saw you fighting. Yeah. I opened the door, and Mr. Allen was in the rest of the loo. <laughs> in the loo. I was in the loo, and he was dead when I came outside and saw him standing over his body. In lieu of what? In lieu of... What? In lieu of a body. <laughs> The only person I know with the motive is, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Cartwright, who... I no longer have motive. Death. He wanted to collect a death from Mr. Marlowe. That became no longer necessary. Why is that? Because he died. <laughs> <laughs> if he died, how could he give him money? There was a giant, like, crash on the ceiling when I was standing in the library. Yeah, I heard it, too. Because I was... We were there together! We were there. That's there what was it was! Crash was party. So we need to figure out who did it, why they did it, uh, and when they did it. And maybe even with what? They both are having an affair with Lady, Lady Cecil. What? What? That's what I've been hearing. What? That's what I've been hearing. So you hear that they're both Edward Such and Chris. I believe it was Mr. Burbage. <laughs> oh! Why would you say that? I overheard Marlo say he was going to talk to you. But you claim that you never talked to him. Who was my dagger? It's my family's heirloom. I wish I wouldn't shed a drop of blood on it except for my own. Chair! <laughs> Let me tell you who did this! What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a conspiracy against the Crown involving no less than three co-conspirators. <laughs> Edward Allen, <laughs> Marlo, holding his sword as he visited the Louvre, leaving him vulnerable with a weapon. William Shakespeare what? distracted me in the library oh. while Marlowe was vulnerable. <laughs> and the murderer, having made themselves seemingly impervious to suspicion through a cunning display of feigned virtue and delicacy, stealing my heart, <laughs> There's no other than Lady Throckmorton. I read my face. Wow. Why? Marlon was a good friend of mine, if a rival. And I'm sad to see him go. Although I wasn't privy to all of this, like, intrigue and espionage that everybody else seems to be. Like, I'm just on the playwright. And I was just <laughs> coming, coming here tonight, I'd, I'd heard many rumors about Lady Cecil potentially having murdered her husband. Yeah. What? I did yes. no such thing. Oh, because she was having an affair. Ooh. What? Your husband. What? I was? Yes. <laughs> I heard that! Hello. I would Adrian. never do such a thing! <laughs> you, know, you know not what you speak. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> But there seem to have been many affairs because I've also heard of affairs with her and Alan. No! Oh no! <laughs> yes. And Marlo. And Marlo. Yeah. I believe that Alan had a wonderful motive to have killed Marlo. Yes, well originally I have suspected Edward Allen because of the um, things that Ms. Cartwright has said, I've heard that they were both having an affair with Lady Marie Oh, Cecil. for goodness sake. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I no I was confronting Lady <laughs> Marie Cecil about this affair that she was having with Christopher Marlowe. This talk of affairs is nonsense. As we all know, Christopher Marlowe knew they were having an affair with Lady Marie. He didn't want competition. He was afraid that Marlowe was going to challenge his station is number one actor and ruin his career. He wanted exclusive rights <laughs> to the stage. I have right, not so. had three affairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the ledger. <laughs> Already. Men of general Protestant friends. I don't know what you're referring to. You Catholic whore. <laughs> Such 
No, we don't need dinner like, tonight except that I still need like dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you will swear to God you didn't kill him. I so swear by my number one acting career. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been struck by lightning, so I guess he didn't kill him. So it was suicide. <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, would you please stand up and tell us if you committed suicide? That would explain why you're still here on Earth rather than, you know, rejoicing in paradise. Did you kill yourself? <laughs> you also have not been struck by lightning. We'll assume that you well, didn't so, kill yourself. Father of lies! I never slept with Christopher Marlowe. And no, I did not kill him. Huh. Bella Stewart. Did you do the murder? <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. Oh, I think it's Richard Burbage. I believe Richard Burbage murdered Christopher due to the deep debt he was in. Over 900 pounds. Oh my. Which none of us could pay. Christopher used Alan's dagger while he was in the bathroom, murdered him, and then sent up Cartwright, who had a smaller debt that was owed him from Marlowe up to see him as a way of framing him. Interesting. And that gave Cartwright motive, but it's not the true story. Our real murderer is apparently very skilled. I will take the blame <laughs> for this injustice. Amazing playwriter. Amazing poet. You may confess now, it's okay. You won't get arrested. And so, I found a random defenseless man who believed I was a spy for the Spaniards. Which is true. Then I murdered him like a frog. That knife was sharper than his wit. Well, it's been a very interesting night to us. Paul Trifer.